Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is your complete competitors list, men's open of course, for this weekend's Legion Sports Fest, taking place from the 22nd to the 24th. I will run through all of these guys, name them, if I can get their names correctly, and then I will give you my top five, top five predictions. Here's Nerio Anjula, nice big biceps on this dude. Fantastic. Good set of wheels as well. Are we going to see him in the top five? Mm, it's going to be hard. going to be hard. Tony O'Burton. Hmm. He is a 212 athlete competing at the Olympia in the 212 division. He is stepping up to the open class. Going to make this a spectacle for sure. This is an Instagram photo. He said we are going to see a new Tony O'Burton. Will we see him in the top five predictions? Hard to say. And, of course, we have Max Charles. Many of you guys don't need any introduction to this guy. If he comes in crisp, it is in the realm of possibility for a first-place finish for Max. And Sean Clarita, there must be some sort of mistake. Is this a joke? No, no, no joke. I'm sure you guys have seen this on other bodybuilding forums, things of that nature. Former 212 division champion, Olympia champion, steps up to the open class. The ratings for this, if you guys don't, didn't order this yet, you gotta order this event. You gotta watch this event. It's gonna be a good one. Now, Rafael Del Real, and there was a few guys with this name. Is this the right, is this the correct man that's gonna be competing this weekend? I apologize if it's not, and... If it is, well, he's got some good bicep peaks. And this is another dude, very hard to find any pictures of this guy. Uh, Jesus Martin Hernandez Escobedo? Oh, it's Jesus, my goodness, he's Mexican. It's, it's Jesus, not Jesus. But anyway, guys, Martin Fritzwater. You don't know who this guy is? Or if you don't know who this guy is, look him up. Martin Fritzwater, take a good look. Take a gander at those calves as well. This is one of the uh, brand namers. There's a few brand name gentlemen. And I believe Martin Fritzwater will be a brand namer after this event. But Regan Grimes. Regan Grimes. He is a top flight. He's an Olympian. He's an Olympian. Competed at the Olympia this year, of course. Here is Brandon Hatton. Good solid physique on this guy. Where he will place. Well, that's up to the judges. Very easy to get lost in this pack. Here is Gordon Lightfoot. No, oh, hold on a second. That's not Gordon. That's Scott. I'm just acting a fool. Anyway, there's nothing fooling around about his back double bicep. Look at the Christmas tree. That is one rock solid, you know, back development. And look at the separation in his hamstrings. I truly admire this back double by of Gor or, um, Scott Lightfoot. Sorry. Stan Dulongo. I apologize if I got Stan's last name incorrect. I honestly think that someday he could become a, a top five threat at the Olympia. He's that good structurally. Just needs to dry out a little bit more, I, I do believe. Here is Cedric McMillan. Needs no introduction to anybody in the bodybuilding world, for sure. And this gentleman here, rapidly becoming that type of fame as well, Patrick Moore. Fantastic. Huge following on social media. Things of that nature. The guy's a real likable dude. Likable dude. Not so sure he likes these type of videos, but anyway. We like you, Patrick. We like you. Here is Sergio Oliva. I don't know if he likes the junior thrown in there or not. He's his own entity now. He's his own entity. I also like his chances for a top five in this list. Here we have Christian Salcedo. Salcedo, Salcedo, Salcedo. Who wouldn't you like to meet -o? He wears a Speedo. Anyway, guys. Good structure. Good solid uh, physique. Here is Joe Seaman. And I like Seaman's chances in this one. Could be the surge of Seaman. Well, probably not. Probably not. Take a look at the back on him. This was at the Arnold Classic UK. Was it not? Yes. Oh yeah, there was the Yamamoto after that one. All right. 
Yeah, this was at the uh, Arnold UK. And look, guys, he is friggin' peeled. Huge, too. Watch out for semen surges. Here is last, but probably not least, Ron Stevens. Now, it was hard to get a picture of this guy. Here's him on Instagram. Is that even the same guy? Looks different. He looks jacked. Look at the vascularity. If the if the judges like vascularity, man, I'm sure they'll like Ron Stevens. So without further ado, I will give you guys my top five prediction. And this was a tough one for sure. So, in fifth place, who do we have? Drum roll, please. Patrick Moore. Patrick Moore. This is a, you know, this is a good look for Pat. I think he dried out from the Olympia, judging by this pitcher anyway. And he could really turn some heads. Top five, not bad, not bad. In fourth place, and this is going to be a shocker to a lot of you guys, Martin, Martin Fritzwater. Martin, Martin. Telling you right now, guys, take a look at this guy's physique at the Legion Sports Fest. He's going to rock the very foundation of the bodybuilding world. Well, he's good. He's good. In third place, oh my goodness, I can hardly hold the excitement, Sean Clarita. Sean Clarita. Where are you guys going to put him? I can hear you guys laughing. I can hear you guys laughing. And it's funny because this was pre-recorded. But I could ask every one of you guys that are laughing at me. Well, where are you going to place him? Mm, that's a noodle scratcher. It's a noodle scratcher. In second place, ladies and gentlemen, to the Legion Sports Fest, we have Cedric McMillan. I am sure that he is headed into this event to win. It is his event to win, guys. The Legion Sports Fest. I mean, come on, Cedric McMillan, for goodness sakes. Who's going to beat Cedric McMillan? In first place, we have none other than Sergio Oliva. I do believe that it is his time. He is going to dry out from the Arnold, the 2001 Arnold Classic. He looked pretty good there, guys. He did. It was a pretty tough lineup. He probably should have placed higher than he did as well. But anyway, guys, I don't want to get into that. I think it's his time. I think he's going to place ahead of Cedric McMillan. And not to mention all of the other dudes. And it is worth to mention these three guys here could easily all crack the top five. And it is in the realm of possibility for an upset. You have Regan Grimes, Max Charles, and Joe Seaman. Anyway, though, I do still uh, believe that Sergio Oliva Jr. will pull the big win off. He will head into the 2022 Mr. Olympia event, make history, could win the whole darn show. Why not, guys? Hit thumbs up on the video if you liked the predictions, and if you didn't, well, hit thumbs up anyway. It, it helps. It helps me. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel anyway. Have a great day.